In terms of uh, due diligence on a developer, okay, um, from an investor point of view, I'm thinking it's all well that you're telling me that the development stacks are up and the build costs are where they need to be and everything else is, uh, is stacking up from a commercial point of view. I'd be really interested to know who's actually building this out. Okay, have they done this before? Have they got relevant expertise and experience? And now have they performed in the past? Right, so the same as Property Bridges would do detailed bank rate due diligence on the development itself, they also do the same thing on any developer. Okay, so luckily, um, most developments that they get involved with would involve repeat clients. Fortunately, but as you would expect, a lot of builders that Property Bridges work with would have been people that they've worked with in the past. Okay, this is, they're not bringing in a new uh, builder for, for every development. So they would have had um, experience of working with them in the past and built relationships. And the reality is if they didn't perform well previously, then they wouldn't be working on any future developments. For those that come in and maybe um, for the first time, they'd obviously be subject to the usual financial checks and that type of due diligence. But crucially, we'd be looking at the track record. What have they done before? You know, have they, if, we, if we're building 20 apartments, have they built something similar to, to this before? Like you don't go from building, um, you know, five apartments to building 50 apartments. There needs to be some experience there to reflect the project that's been taken, that's, that's taken place. Your developer would always be putting a minimum of 20% total cost into a deal, which is skin in the game um, for the developer. Right, so this gives investors peace of mind that the developer is actually investing in this himself, okay? Other things that you'd also do with with the developer, I said you go and visit their projects. You maybe speak with investors that they dealt with previously, um, see how they performed, or maybe ask them what they did well, what they didn't do so well. Um, and I'm in a small place, you know, you always get to speak to people, you get a feel for the type of thing that they, they've done previously, like I said. And then I think the most crucial thing that I find is, I mentioned skin in the game a bit earlier, right? If I'm, if I'm able to put a significant amount of money into a developer myself as a developer, I'm going to do my own thorough due diligence on the, on the developer. Now, if a developer comes to me with a two or three page due diligence pack and they haven't done their research, they haven't looked at, you know, the, uh, the planning application in detail before purchasing the site, they haven't looked at services maps, they haven't looked at historic maps, they haven't done all of this stuff themselves, and brought it to me as part of this substantiation, then that's a red flag, you know? The same thing with build costs, for instance. Are they, are they giving me something that's on the back of a fact packet, or is it a broken down bill of quantities by trade with rates, with, um, you know, a proper breakdown of prelims and contingencies? The proof is in the pudding with the the application itself. Actually, how much detail have they done? Do they know how they're gonna build it? Do they know all the program is? As you get to do this over the years, you start to ask questions, and if you're not getting the right answers, then obviously that, that throws up its own issues as well.